Hey everyone, Dr. Alex Ritz, a downtown Toronto chiropractor, acupuncture provider, manual therapist, rehab specialist, here on my day off at King West Club. So I wanted to make a couple of videos to help you guys out. So today what we're gonna be talking about is the deadlift. For those that are new to deadlifting, we're gonna give you a couple of cues and actually show you what you can work on to build up to doing it. And for those that are novices or experts, again, I wanna show you a couple of cues or a couple of things to rehearse before you get into your big lift. So specifically what we're gonna talk about is the hip hinge and maintaining a three, point of, three points of contact while you're doing your deadlift. So in terms of the deadlift, what we wanna make sure we can do is do an actual proper hip hinge where you maintain a nice neutral spine that's nice and upright, the shoulders are back, and making sure that when we bend over with a 10 to 15 degree bend in the knees, it all comes through the hips. And so what the cue is that I want you to remember, one or two, is you can feel like you're getting karate chopped in the hips. So somebody, a martial arts expert, comes in, karate chops you, and to avoid them, you send your butt straight back while maintaining that nice neutral spine. Legs have a nice little bend in them, and when you feel like you're gonna lose that neutral spine, you come back up. So this is something I would do before any of my deadlifts. I do like one set of 10, just working on sending that butt straight back so that when I you know, increase your weight, you're gonna do it safe and stay injury free. So if you're a novice, what you can do is you can do that three sets of 10 once, twice a day for about a week, just working on grooving that motor pattern before you get in and actually try doing it with like a 45 pound barbell or something else. Uh, again, for the expert or for the novice or beginner, what you can do to make sure that you're maintaining that neutral spine and doing a proper hip hinge, take something like this, this is the dowel, you can use a golf club, a hockey stick, anything of the sort, and what you wanna work on is maintaining three points of contact between the dowel and your back. So you got one point of contact in the head, one point of contact in the low back, or in the mid back, and one point of contact in the low back. And while you work on sending that, those hips back with the karate chop, you wanna make sure that all three of those points stay in contact. If I were to lose one here at the low back, or one here at the head, I know that I've lost my neutral spine and that's as far as I wanna go with my deadlift. So in full practice, you send those hips straight back, like you're getting karate chopped, that's as far as I wanna go, and then you come back up. Another thing you can think of in terms of a good cue I heard the other day, think of it as keeping your foot glued to the floor, like they're taped down, and you're trying to send your butt back to sit back on a chair without moving the feet. Uh, so I hope that was useful, just a little recap for you guys. Think of either getting karate chopped or like you're trying to send your butt back while your feet are glued on the floor. Those are some good cues to rehearse before a big deadlift or some things to practice before you want to get into deadlifting. Check out DrAlexRitzer.com if you want more and I hope you enjoy the video.